Here are some tips that you can use to format your images in Bubble better. The first thing that I do is I use an image and I'll pull my dynamic source. And within the run mode rendering, I'm almost always using Zoom. Zoom is just a great option, especially when you're trying to get a circular image like this. Now, if you need to have an image that has a different proportion, maybe a rectangle, resize functionality could be good, uh, but mostly I'm using Zoom. If I need to get that perfect proportion, I'm going to go over into my layout and I'm going to adjust my aspect ratio, and I'm going to make sure that my aspect ratio is the same size as the photo that I'm uploading. Luckily, Bubble makes it easy for us now because they automatically do that. But if it's not automatically done for you, then you can put the proportions of the width and the height of the photo that you're using for an automated perfect proportion. All right, outside of that, I used to use this Imix conditional a lot, but Bubble has gotten really good to the point where I just don't actually use it anymore. So now I'm just using my zoom mixed with my aspect ratio for most use cases. Now, one other thing that I want to discuss. This profile photo, you're usually putting it everywhere, right? And with a profile photo, we always want to have a condition where if the user's profile photo is empty, then to show another image, right? Now, you don't want to actually have to do this condition everywhere that this photo happens to be in your application. So it's kind of best practice to put this photo into a reusable element, make that reusable element you know, a flexible layout, so it could be easily adjusted wherever you put that reusable element on your client side. And then add that condition to your reusable. So that way, whenever you need a profile photo anywhere in your application, you put that reusable there. That's your profile photo. You adjust the client side to the size you need. And that the conditional is just already app wide over your entire application. And if you ever want to change that default image, you just do it in one place rather than finding every single profile photo in your application and changing it that way. So it's a really simple tip, but hopefully these tips help you adjust your photos in Bubble better and to set up your photos within reusable elements when it makes sense to make for you more universal efficiency in your Bubble applications. So hopefully you enjoy this tip, and if so, please follow me for more.